So this is the, that's the first time. What kind of tank is this? Oh, uh, do you know who did? What's his name? Uh, from the... From Morris. From who? The guy from Morris. Oh, no. He built, me a, he built, he built the tanks for... Uh, it's a store on the west side, not... Salty Fit? Yeah, uh, Salty Fit. Aqua Lake? Salty Fit. He built his tanks. Okay. And he gave me his number. I called him. He built me this. This is about this is a 90 gallon cube. Oh. That's cool, huh? I got, yeah, I got tanks is... coming out the ears. Oh, yeah. yeah I need to, sweet, huh? need to upgrade my life on this one. This is the Mac, Max Spec Ethorals, right? Yeah, so. it's, been a, it's been a good light. Yeah. We got one over this, and I got four over Max Spec. I've never seen them in person. In, uh... You know, they're good. I mean, you could, there's no disco effect. That's what I like about it. You know, they, they blend the colors pretty good. Uh -huh. And uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the way it's controlled drives me crazy. You got to go through your router to get to them. Really? So you can't do it like, if you were somewhere else and you said, oh crap, I left my lights on, <laughs> you couldn't do anything about it, you know? So yeah, it's a lot of chaos. That mushroom is, uh, I've had it for eight years. Which one? I got this big one here. Oh, damn. I got it from uh, Petco. Really? Yeah, it was one of my first cores I ever bought. And I started getting vesicles like a bounce, you know? So this was, that's cool, man. So that was like a $5 coral and it's got, I got babies of it. You know, kind of all over. That looks badass. Yeah, I need I just, some of these in my tank. I just got this one. I traded it to, to a local guy. He had a angel uh -huh. on, uh, that was picking on it. So we came and we traded. I gave him some, gave him some mushrooms and some other stuff. Well, your fish room is this fish room like uh, bigger than your brother's? Oh yeah, yeah. His is I think half. Yeah, cause that he was the first mm -hmm. one that I ever seen like that. Yeah. And I just told my wife I want to do that. She's like, nope. Oh, it's awesome, man. She would love it because you'd be out here. Yeah, I'd be out, here, <laughs> out of her way. That's right. Yeah. So that's the... I got that powder blue from Julio, not that long ago. Recently traded since I got them, man. I got one just from uh, my buddy, uh, Alan. Well, you know Alan. Mm -hmm. uh, he hooked me up. Yeah. And then I got Zoas out of control, man. These things. I bought those... These guys, you probably... I think you had some. I don't the gold polys? No, these other ones. They're for, I got them from Aqua SD. Uh huh. And they have a real kind of gold speckles on them. Oh my God, they grow like a weed. I'll show you my display tank. You'll understand. I think I have some of those. The only nice thing is being bare bottom, I can just scrape them off. Man, a, they grow like crazy. That guy's in quarantine down there. That Hollywood stunner. Uh huh. He's yeah. Brutal, man. Yeah. Um, He's got some sweepers that are three inches long. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I gave my whole Hollywood Stunner away uh, to the guy who bought my tank. Um, was it, uh, who bought it? Uh, he bought his, uh, Enrique. Oh, it wasn't, uh, what's his name? Uh, D'Angelo? Yeah. Nah, he was just talk. He was just talk. Yeah, he was just talk. He's not, he doesn't do it anymore, does he? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Uh, maybe some, nah, not, not like on the scale that he used yeah. to do. You made this tank too? Yeah, this is the first tank I made. Dude. And this one was a challenge because of the length of the panels. Uh -huh. So when you run it through the router, because it's 70 inches long, I can't reach to feed it. Uh -huh. You know, because normally when you feed it, you want all one hand on one end and one hand on the other, so uh -huh. you control the speed. It was tough, man. Dude, this is freaking nice, yeah. though. And I just got that. The dose, I'm getting ready to switch from... Calcium? Calcium, you got the two-part because of the... I don't know what's going on. The regulator's kind of funny. It's, it worked good for a long time. I hadn't had to do anything for about a year. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, some stuff started happening. You know, my elk shot up to nine and a half. And I usually keep it at eight. So. Oh, okay. I'm going to go back. A little more control with two part. You know? When you're in the El Paso area, you swing by my house. You can check out my tank. Yeah, me too. You already got it running, the new one? Yeah, I got it running now. Okay. I got um, a couple more fish from my. Fish disaster, you know. Yeah, that's, that, that's, it sucks. That's it sucks. Yeah, but, you know, I'm not trying to hide nothing. So. Yeah. What can you do, man? Stuff happens. Yeah. I know I'm not the only one, but. Oh, yeah. Like I said, that's the exact same thing happened to me. I have them in, in a fish tank, I had them with a heater, I had them with an air pump, I had them with a power head, and for whatever reason. Still. They still. I lost, I had eight fish in there, and I was just transferring them, I and mean, they were only in there for a few hours. I think only three survived. That's crazy. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, I still feel bad because yeah. I had those fish, you know. Since I, I lost a lot of money. I don't really care about that. I yeah. care about yeah. the little yeah. reefing yeah, buddies. That's a job breaker. Got a couple of babies. Oh shit! Here we go. Different view. That's yeah. why I love corals, man. They're so cool and I different. Turn that off real easy. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy. Your overflow is not gurgling, it's not loud. Yeah. I mean, it's off right now, but. Let's see. No, I have it. it. Just runs into the. I have a rock tank down here. Well, it used to be my. Uh, it used to be a refugium. Uh huh. But I couldn't. Couldn't keep the Cheeto alive because I don't have enough nutrients. I just got a bunch of Cheeto from my buddy. Uh, his name is Ray. Yeah. He just posted me. Uh, we just traded a bunch of stuff. He, uh, he wanted some frags, and I was like, Yeah, man, I'll trade. He's like, You wanna, you wanna sell it? I was like, Nah, I'm, I'd rather trade with people that, you know. Yeah. I'm not just gonna just. That's cool, man. What kind of digi is that? Is That's that a four star. Okay, it looks cool on Yeah, it was got to. Uh, my other tank, it was real close to the Elegance. Oh. Elegance was beating the crap out of it. That's why it looks like it's real bad in the middle. That's another frag that was in the back of the other one. But it's just barely coming back now because it was getting. Oh, okay. It was getting beat up by the, by the Elegance. Yeah, I, I got a. Uh, I love the top guns. <coughs> So you live pretty close to stuff, and he lives like right up there. Yeah, I've talked to him. I've only talked to him a couple times. It's kind of hard to get a little. Yeah. I don't know if he's still in the hobby. I assume he is. I went down to a store once. He had big tanks in there. Yeah. He sold me some stuff, but I don't know if he's still around. Yeah. Um, that, he made my 20, 120 of the first one. And, oh, did he? Mm-hmm. And I came all the way out here. And like further down there, there's like a school. Yeah. You know, as soon as you exit. I don't know if he's still, I don't know if, I talked to him about making the tank once, but he, he said it's real expensive and now he can't get the glass or... Oh. Well, I'm glad I found you because I was looking at the glass cages yeah. and... It's expensive. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, for a little tank and I don't think the quality is going to be as yeah. awesome as yours. This is actually, that's a cool, that's a cool digi too. This one here. Oh, okay. That's a... It looks kind of bland in this tank, but in my other tank, you see it's purple. It's a, called a ORA German Blue. Okay. Yeah, I never heard of it. So the tips get green and the polyps get purple. This this light is pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, it's pretty. You know, the comparatively, uh -huh. $400, you know, for that light, or you can get a Radeon for 800 800 Yeah. Uh -huh. so, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Because this one, I like the light pattern. You know, um, this it's nice having them because there's different color LEDs in each one of the little circles. That's why it blends so well. Okay. You know, you can tell there's different LEDs in a cluster. It's kind of like a castle, uh -huh. except the LEDs are really bigger. These are pretty, pretty nice. This would, this would. I don't think a lot of people consider Mac today. Yeah. I've never seen them in person, but. Pretty cool. They on their Facebook page they gave away some uh, Max Vex for surf. Uh -huh. The new ones? No, this one. Oh, okay. this one. They were giving away this one, uh -huh. and then uh, one of the guys I follow it, got it for free and ended up selling them. So oh, really? Like, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Like, eventually I'll change. It's got a little fan. It's got a little. I don't know. You can see it from the top or not? Yeah. There's a. Does there's that a one? Fan that has a moonlight. Okay. This one? Yeah. Does this one do it? Yeah. Okay. I would turn it off, but I can't control it. Oh, because <laughs> right. you have to go to your router. Yeah, because it's a pain in the butt. That's right. cool, man. So, yeah, and you can adjust the color, so you can make the new color whenever you want. I said it was one real dark blue. That's cool. It's kind of nice because the fish don't get scared when I come in in the morning. And the lights are off. So, I like how you do your fish room. Um, so, does your garage get super hot because of the, the AC is no, blowing? You know what? Man, it's I can't tell the difference in the garage temperature. Really? Because of that. Um, and I just, at night, I, at night I just put it in a, like a, what's called an energy saver. So I, it only runs for 10 minutes an hour at night. In the day, I leave it on. In the, yeah. Like for this month and next month, I'll leave it on all day. And then in the winter, I just put an energy saver and it's good. Oh, that's cool, man. Mm -hmm. I have, I put a, 
put an exhaust fan and all that stuff in here, I've never used it though. Because I was worried that it was going to get too hot. Uh -huh. But it's nice and actually my wife says it's good for her skin. <laughs> I can sleep, sleep in here. But this is a sweet man. Automatic water change. I just turned it off recently because the water gets too clean and I could, my SPS polyp extension gets horrible. And so I use a liter meter for that when I have a tub on the outside where my roadie is. So I just turn my roadie on, it fills the tub. I have a valve, I turn a valve, it fills the tank, I just pour salt in it. And then the liter meter takes water out of the sump and then pumps it over to the, I have a wet sink in my garage, pumps it down the drain. That was cool. So it's pretty sweet because there's no buckets. Yeah, this is awesome. Awesome. And, and this is this is connected to your main display? Yeah. Uh, That's a 75 gallon. I just cut the center brace off. Okay. And I've had that. The skimmer has been amazing. Yeah. Believe it or not, Bubble Mag is an AC9. I've had it for five years. I changed the pump one time. Never turned it off. Never cleaned it. Except for the, you know, I cleaned the cup in the mag. Uh -huh. So I haven't had to clean the pump in it and it works great. Yeah. I haven't turned down really cool. That's how I like my skin. Dry. Yeah. I don't like the wet skin. Yeah, when I, uh, if my salinity creeps up, that's when I skim a little more wet and I just add some more water. And the apex I've had for a few years. I'm not yeah. using it to its full potential, to be honest. I've just, I've just barely started messing with it. Uh -huh. But I have, uh, I use their wave pumps. And then I connect it into the long lift module. I just got the dose, which I'll start to take by dosing in probably next week or so. Do you uh, see the need to get another dose, maybe? Uh, I'm going to do the uh, Red Sea. Are you familiar with the Red Sea colors? colors program? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it by hand at first, and if it gets tedious. Because you can do it, you can either do it on a daily dose, or you can do it once a week. So I'll just do it once a week by hand. This is cool because, um, uh, I'm, I mean, in the catalogs, it looks like you know, a small dose, but it's not a small dose no, at all. It's big. A big ass dose. I think that's some of the complaints for some of the plants. Yeah, that takes up a lot of space. It takes a lot of space if you want to do it. Yeah. So I have two pumps, one for this room and one for the main tank. So that one is just a Jago 12,000. I think I cranked up about half of it. So I'm probably pushing 2,000 gallons or so. And then this is another Jago. And I have duplicates of these pumps. I know people say they won't last long, but mm -hmm. I've had them forever. I've never had an issue yet. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, yes. That's right. Did you make your own bricks or you bought these? Or? No, I bought them and I'm starting to take them out to be honest with you. Yeah. I, had a, I had some in my display tank. I thought it would be a cool idea to put my rocks on top of them and display, keep them hidden. Uh -huh. Have some extra you know, ability to, to, to uh, you know, handle the redust and all that stuff. And handle nitrates and phosphates. And then when I went in just recently to redo some rock work, they fall apart. Yep, this stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's my input. Okay. And the stuff was just falling apart, so I took it out because I think it's doing something in the tank. You know, I, I did an ICP test, uh -huh. and my aluminum came back high. Uh, and I read that a lot of people had that issue with those, so I'm slowly taking it out. That's why I added this, hmm. all these rock, all this rock in here. I just got some of that, and I mean, I if got you have it in a low flow, like this stuff, just looks okay. But the stuff in my in my tank, because I have four big power heads plus my return oil. Wow. It just, it just too much weight. This is turning. Is sure. that uh, what I think it is? Denitrate yeah. purifier. So I made this. This is sulfur denitrator. I haven't had to use it yet. I made it. It was kind of fun to make. It only cost me forty bucks, something like that. Yeah. So that's just four inch PVC. I got a little cheap, one of those little cheap pumps at Petco. Uh -huh. That just that yeah, works great. Flow water flows through it. Doesn't leak. Yeah, I got the media. I just haven't used it. Oh, the LS10. Yeah. I, I contemplate the music because my nitrates stay at 20 and my phosphates are zero. Oh, and wow. so if I take my nitrates down, everything looks like everything's bad. So I just leave my nitrates up and I just deal with my phosphate. But that, that's why I can't grow chino or macro. Wow. Yeah, I, I got some more. I want to try doing like a... I saw somebody's video and they did a dragon breath fuge. Oh. And it looked pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of these tanks. Uh -huh. I want to build another tank, kind of like this one. Uh -huh. It'll be a little skinnier. It won't be 48 inches long. We'll put it right there. And we'll make the refugium. And I'm adding more and more fish to the system because I don't have any sand, so I think it makes a big impact. So you have less nutrients in your tank at all times. So I'm gonna 
add that in because I want to put I had mangroves and stuff in here for a long time. It, it was awesome. It's cool. This is awesome right now. I mean, the guys, yeah, be, I think it'd be sweet to have one more tank right here. This is sweet because you made this. What's that? You, this is sweet because you made this. Yeah, it's, you pretty, made it. it's pretty fun. It's a good feeling to know that you can do whatever you need to in the hobby. You know? Yeah. I mean, I have yeah, DIY, this, you know, DIY to T5s and all that. Yeah, I man. I, mean, I just need to get a, I need to get another ballast. This is this yeah. is cool. I mean, some a tank like this would be like easy 800, oh, yeah. almost yeah. a thousand. You're probably like a thousand. Because um, I was looking at the deep blue, like, yeah, oh, yeah. professional the deep blue. Ones, yeah. yeah, I can't. I, I don't want to oh, spend that kind of money. Yeah, this was the sheet for three eighths is only two hundred fifty bucks. This is one sheet. This is one sheet. One sheet, and I had some left. Yeah. That's freaking. And I made all the fragments I make. And you got this from El Paso, or what's that? The, that plastic. Yeah, thing? I got it from Piedmont. And they cut it to size. They charge you ten dollars to cut. And it's easy, like I said, because they use a panel saw, so all the cuts are straight and perfect. And then you just have to route the edges so you can bond them. And that's, so that's pretty easy. This was hard because it's so long, but if you have two guys doing it, it'd be pretty easy. Okay. This is nice. Yeah, I made all kinds of stuff. You ever read that, uh, you read Reef and Reef a lot? Mm -hmm. This is the Donovan. You know the Donovan was? Uh, yeah, that's, the way, that's the way actually. This is sulfur, that's a denitrator. Oh, he got uh, killed in the ocean, right? Yeah. Some, he got in that. Okay, so I thought that's what that was. No, that's a sulfur denitrator, and this one is you put media in it and you go real slow flow. Okay. You drip vodka directly into the uh -huh. into the reactor so you don't have to worry about the you know, cyanone coming in your tank and all that stuff. And it works pretty good for nitrates. Okay. Yeah. But you yeah. fill it with whatever, like. Uh, Rubble rock, or you can use marine pure, whatever you want. What's that stuff? Pond matrix, right? What's that? Can you put that matrix up in there? Yeah, I have some. I haven't used it though. I ordered it, so I was going to put it in there. I said I was scared because there's almost no nutrients in the tank. You'll see because I don't know why else you. This is the only reason there's anything in here at all is because it's, I just set it up. Uh -huh. So I got a little bit of diatom. It's like you do when you set up any tank. Hey, this is sweet. Or my display it. It's your object. I clean the glass once in a week. It's sweet. Yeah, if you just had some, already on there. some couple of snails in here, you wouldn't have to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I have a couple of small ones, but like my big tank, I have some turbos that are about three inches across. They're humongous. That is cool. That is really cool. That's cool. That's cool because you still got that tank you can mess around with. Yeah. Yeah, I can connect all this You're stuff. You're going to make a different tank? No, yeah, I've drilled these. This is the tall, right? 20 yeah, tall? Yeah, 20 tall. This will fit perfect underneath my, frag, then my new frag tank. i 20 long in there. Oh, you That's did? a sump already if you oh. want it. Uh, I'll take it. It's full of PVC ports. Oh, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm going to say no. <laughs> it's, I got the same uh, problem with you. Like this. I think it'll fit underneath the... I think it'll fit underneath the, that frag tank if that's what you're using. Yeah. Yeah, I... I uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, this is the awesome. This, this is cool, man. This is really good. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Hope you guys had a lot of fun hanging out with Matt. His fish room was pretty awesome. It was in the garage with the air conditioner. Thanks a lot, Matt, for letting us hang out today. Hope you guys have a good one. Like, subscribe, and you guys take care.